SB fam, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. I hope you guys are having a Gouda meat fuel day so far. I just got back from a nice hike outside. I'm in Washington, so any day where there is no rain is a great day. I wanted to talk about a topic that has been highly requested for me to just film and focus on. Um, when I made my three year carnivore results video and top 10 benefits a few weeks back, I got so many comments and requests to film a separate video to just talk about my weight gain, then weight loss journey, specifically on the carnivore diet. That's what I'm going to do today. I hope to just walk down memory lane with you guys, chat about my initial weight gain and what I did to lose all of that initial weight gain. January 1st, 2019 is when I committed to the carnivore diet. It was not only a new year's resolution, but also the day I let go of the numbers. And what I mean by that is I stopped obsessing over how much I weighed on the scale. I stopped obsessing over counting every single calorie that I ate and I stopped restricting calories as well. So I put away my scale, I deleted all calorie counting apps and I just finally focused on healing. I had a lot of health concerns during that time Biggest one being amenorrhea. I had no period. Amenorrhea is just complete loss of the cycle. I had no period for two years and that was my top priority was to get my period back. Yeah, 22 when I first started carnivore. So, you know, during that time, one should be having a healthy, normal, regular cycle. I had none. So obviously I would do anything it takes to bring it back. I kind of just jumped into carnivore cold turkey. Now, I definitely jumped into carnivore cold turkey. In fact, it was an overnight thing from vegan to carnivore overnight. Yes, I am just extreme like that. Um, first day, I decided to eat some eggs. Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs cooked in Kerrygold butter. That was my first bite of animal foods. And I distinctly remember how delicious and flavorful it was and also how I felt. I suddenly felt like I was seeing things from black and white to all of a sudden HD color. It was that instantaneous of an effect on me. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I am so hungry. Like the appetite was just ravenous. I could not control my insatiable hunger. And I think what happened was when my body finally got a taste of what it had been wanting for years and years and years and years, it was like, oh my gosh, this is what I want. So I'm going to send loud, blaring, bright red signals to this body to keep eating more. So all I could think about was meat, eggs, butter, fat, just animal foods. And that's all I wanted every single day, all throughout the day. My hunger was so ravenous and insatiable that if I, if I didn't eat five to six times a day, I would not stop thinking about food. I basically just let myself eat as much as I wanted, as frequently as I wanted, however much I wanted. My entire first month of carnivore was basically just me stuffing my face. And how much did I eat? I'm sure you guys are wondering. It ranged up to five pounds of beef in one day. There were days where I would eat up to 48 eggs in one day. So you guys know that I have a very big appetite. Well, in those first initial months of carnivore, my appetite was never bigger. It was just bottomless, bottomless pit type of appetite. And I am so glad that I let myself go and I just allowed myself to eat as much as I wanted. Of course, I had that fear that I would gain weight and I did gain weight. I gained weight very quickly actually, but there was no way around it. Once I started eating my first bite of animal foods, I knew there's no way back. My body has already gotten a taste of this food, these nutrients, it would take an extreme amount of willpower to go back to living my old life of bad habits. For example, calorie restricting and portion control. It would take so much willpower to go back to living like that. So that's why I decided I'm not going to practice any willpower anymore. I'm just gonna let go and focus on eating. And I think that is so important. So if you are gaining weight initially, I'm just going to bet on the fact that you too fell into the fad dieting 
the calorie restricting, the portion control, um, the obsessing over the numbers, basically. If you did do that, then you will probably gain weight when you first go carnivore. But let me give you some hope first. It's not going to stay. You're not going to stay gaining weight forever. You're not going to blow up into a balloon and explode. And you're also not going to hold on to that extra weight forever, okay? So I really think if you just focus on the fact that your body is deeply repairing and deeply healing and nourishing itself again, you will understand that all of this is part of the process. All of this is temporary. For me, the weight gain and the holding on to that extra weight lasted about six entire months. My first six months, it was just stuffing my face. I could not stop eating. All I thought about was food. All I wanted was to eat. It was that intense and my hunger just never felt more intense and unignorable if that's a word, but it was so intense. And like thinking back three years later, wow, I was definitely so, 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 so malnourished because to feel a hunger on that level is just a huge sign that you push it, you wrecked your hormones, you wrecked your metabolism. So if you want any hope of stable, healthy weight loss and a regulated, strong body, you have to focus on just allowing yourself to eat and heal, eat and heal. It really is that cycle over and over and over. It may take more than six months for you. It may just take one to two months, but I really think there is a correlation with weight gain and the necessity for your body to heal. So what exactly did I eat my first six months? My first month, I really just focused on a bunch of beef, a bunch of butter, a bunch of eggs, and occasionally some seafood. My seafood of choice back then was wild raw salmon. But I remember um, the majority of my meals would be ground beef, eggs, and tons and tons and tons of butter. So I had this extreme craving for fat. Again, I was on a very low fat vegan diet for such a long time. So obviously my body would just be dying for fats. It was so malnourished. There were days where I would eat up to five pounds of beef and there were days where I would eat up to 48 eggs and there were days, actually most of the days, I would be eating at least one entire stick of butter. So the quantity of food I was eating was insane. It was just so, so much. Calories wise, it was definitely 4,000 calories and above every single day over and over and over again. So there was no way my body would not gain weight. And on top of that, I stopped working out altogether. I stopped going to the gym. I stopped over exercising. I stopped obsessing over, um, you know, burning calories and exercising all day, every day. So when I'm not moving as much and just focusing on resting and recovering and I'm eating so much more, the weight gain is obviously inevitable. So yes, I expected the weight gain. It was about 25 pounds of weight gain that happened during my first few months of carnivore. It came on extremely quick just because of how intensely I was eating and just the sheer amounts of food that I was packing down every single day. Now, one could just focus on that weight gain and just be in complete despair, disappointed, in shock, super down and upset. But I got to experience a silver lining very early on, and that was bringing back my period. So within the first two months, my period was back and I was so overjoyed. I was also pleasantly shocked that it came back that quickly just by eating carnivore. So yes, I was extremely convinced that carnivore diet was the diet for me, things were happening, results were happening. Um, and I kind of just didn't focus so much on the weight gain because I was so overwhelmed and excited by all the results and the benefits that were happening so quickly. So the 25 pounds kind of just sat on my body. And I think it sat for that long because my body was fixing all the damage that I put upon myself the many, many years before going carnivore. I continue to just eat five to six meals every single day. There were days where I would just eat a meal and then just 30 minutes later, I would be like, oh my gosh, I need more food. So it was very unpredictable. I had no idea how much I was going to eat. There were days where I would go to the grocery store, buy a bunch of beef, come home, eat it all, and have to go back in the same day to get more beef. I also learned early on that 
going out of the house without packing food and meats is a big no-no. There were days when I would go to school. During that time, I was completing my master's degree at the Juilliard School. There were a few times where I went to school and I thought that I would be okay with going to class and then just running home in between breaks to cook and eat. And I would just be so hungry, so, so hungry. And I was like, man, if I could have just brought a stick of butter, I wouldn't have to go through this ravenous hunger. So don't be surprised if you start carnivore and you suddenly notice that your hunger is through the roof or it's just a lot more than you usually experience. Um, usually that is a sign that your body is finally getting the nutrients and the foods that it has been craving for and that it needs to heal something. So I started bringing sticks and sticks of butter no matter where I went. I would also often pack hard boiled eggs. I would also often pack ground beef patties. Sometimes I would just pack whole entire steaks, but I would cut it into bite-sized pieces, throw it in a Ziploc bag and always be prepared to eat. And yeah, that really helped me because there were days where I just needed to eat all day, all day long, snacks, meals, just all day eating. There you go. That was my first six months. It was just eating all day, every day. And I really think that's very important if you are coming onto carnivore and you do experience um, an increase in appetite and hunger, I highly recommend that you listen to your hunger and you just eat whenever you feel hungry. Anytime you even are thinking about food, even if you think you're hungry just because you're bored or you're just looking for some pleasure, I would actually just eat something because when you eat carnivore foods, animal foods, meats, animal fats, eggs, whatever it is that you're eating on carnivore, it is so nutrient dense that your body is going to be able to tell you clearly that, okay, hey, I'm full and I actually don't need any more food. So if you're not sure whether or not it's true hunger, do the hard boiled egg trick. Always have on hand cooked and ready to go foods like hard boiled eggs, cooked beef patties, Anytime you think you're even remotely hunger and you're not sure if it's true hunger, I would just take a bite of those foods and see if it's appetizing to you. If it is appetizing to you, then nine times out of 10, it's time to just eat a meal. So I would just eat a proper meal. If it's not appetizing to you, that's when you know it's not true hunger. So six months of eating all day, every day, five to six meals. Finally, after those six months, my body was like, you know what? I don't really feel as insatiable and ravenous anymore. I think I've gotten a good chunk of nutrients in, so I'm just going to calm down the appetite. And that's really what happened. I felt it so strongly by month six, I started realizing as I was stuffing my face all the time, hmm, this is not as appetizing and I don't really feel like I need all 24 of these eggs I boiled. And I just couldn't finish the meals that I was cooking myself. When I first started, anytime I cooked, I would cook a huge amount of food because I knew I needed it. I learned my lesson from the many meals that I cooked that was just not enough. So I got used to cooking 24 eggs at a time, three pounds of meat at a time. And yes, I know these amounts of food is just crazy. I'm not saying that you also need to eat 24 eggs at a time or three pounds of meat in one sitting. It's just what my body absolutely needed. So by month six, I realized that when I would just cook all of these meats and eggs and fats and not be able to finish it. So it was just a really clear signals from my body telling me, hey, you actually don't need this much food. And if you're gonna eat anymore, you're going to start feeling nauseated and sick. That's what really kept me along my journey of intuitive eating was just the signals getting clearer and clearer, my hunger getting calmer and calmer. So I definitely feel like my first six months, I learned a lot about my body. I learned a lot about what it means to feel hungry, what it means to feel full. So carnivore diet, it not only brought back my period, not only healed my skin and tons and tons of other benefits, which I will link the video down below. I share all of the benefits that I experienced, but it also taught me how to eat normally, how to know when to stop eating. It taught me a lot about my own appetite. It also healed me from my binge eating disorder. And I, I really think anybody can heal their binge eating habits 
if they just focus on feeding themselves nutrient dense animal foods that are high in fat, high in nutrients. There is no way your body can possibly overeat on such nutrient dense, absorbable, digestible foods. So that's kind of what happened. After six months, my body was like, wow, you did a great job of feeding me and now I'm just going to calm down with the ravenous hunger. And so month six, five to six times of eating turned to three meals a day. And that's kind of how my journey of intermittent fasting began. I went from three meals a day of just eating three really big meals and just really stuffing myself to gradually transitioning into two meals a day. And then a few months later, I went from two meals naturally into one meal a day, which is also known as OMAD. And to this day, that's actually how I prefer to eat on the carnivore diet. I actually see this trend with so many people who go carnivore. They start off with this increase in hunger and they're eating way more than they usually do. They start thinking about food way more frequently. They want more meat, they need more snacks. And for those who actually listen to their hunger and their appetite, and for those who actually feed themselves when they are hungry, those are the people who see the most success and the quickest results. So my weight really started shedding when I transitioned from three mad to two mad and beyond. So I would say month seven to nine is when I started really seeing my body change and it was starting to shrink. Not only did my body start shrinking and I started shedding all that extra weight, I also noticed a lot of body recomposition. I noticed more definition and tone. My waist started getting trimmer. Um, all of these things were extremely exciting, obviously, you know? but I kind of was already used to focusing on just feeling so amazing that whatever changes happened to my body was just like this added bonus. And I would say three years later to this day, I still feel like my body is ever changing. My body recomposition is you know, ever improving. So I really think as long as you listen to your hunger signals, as long as you feed your body the meat that it craves whenever you crave it, your body will naturally readjust to the weight it's meant to be and your body will continue to build muscle and continue to shed off fat. So I highly recommend you guys to just trust the process. I know it's so much easier said than done, especially when your clothes are not fitting. I understand how difficult weight gain can be, which is why I can't not share that I have created a support group, a community just for people like you who are struggling, who are feeling lonely throughout this journey, who need a support system to connect with, to get friendship and inspiration and support from, come join my community. I host 30 day carnivore challenges every single month so you guys can continue to reach your goals. So you guys can talk about the struggles that you are going through. And especially for you guys who are gaining weight, these challenges can be tremendously supportive and helpful for you guys because in the meetings that I host eight hours every single week, we openly discuss topics like this, weight gain, initial weight gain, ravenous hunger, appetite, how to get the fat loss going. We've got coaches there supporting us, guiding us, giving us answers, explaining why certain things happen on Carnivore. And all of the members who join are just so open-minded, so generous, kind, and supportive with each other. And of course, I am there cheering you guys on, helping you guys out, keeping you guys accountable. So I know this initial weight gain that so many people seem to experience when they first go Carnivore is super difficult, but I also think it is inevitable if you have a lot of things to heal. If you wrecked your hormones and your metabolism, if you went through a whole decade of fad dieting, well, of course your body is going to need to focus on healing. And usually when it focuses on healing and repairing, it does gain weight. It goes through weight gain. So all of this is normal. Do not freak out. Don't beat yourself up for it. And please, please, please do not go back to your old habits of calorie restriction starving, over fasting, and instead lean on my community that I have created. If you guys want to join and immediately sign up for the next challenge, check out the links down below. And I cannot wait to welcome you guys in, help you guys out, get to know you guys, support you on your unique carnivore journeys. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, I really hope it just gives you guys hope and inspiration to continue on your carnivore journeys, to just trust the process. 
and I just want you guys to know that the weight gain that happens, it is not permanent, it is not forever, and I promise you if you just continue listening to your body, feeding your body the meat and the animal fats it is craving for, that weight gain will shed. And once it starts shedding, once your body is fully healed and ready to move on, there are so many exciting things that you can start exploring. For example, uh, intermittent fasting, protein to fat ratio, what you eat on carnivore, all of these things I am happy to go into detail and share more on, share more of what I did to see the results that I got today. If you guys want more fat loss, weight loss related videos where I share with you my personal experience and observations, I am happy to film those types of videos. If you guys wanna know what I did after the first year of carnivore, where I started tweaking uh, you know, certain things to see extra results and more body recomposition let me know down below in the comments and as always please don't forget to hit like and don't forget to share this video with family and friends if you found it helpful and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications maybe it's on this side I'm not sure but turn on the bell notifications to not miss my future videos if you guys want to follow along my day-to-day -day updates what I eat more dog and music content Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Steak and Butter Gal, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Sending meat fueled happy thoughts to you all. SVG out.